For many situations, but especially in the towing industry, performing an inspection on equipment and accessories before and after use is extremely important. It's the operator's responsibility to perform inspections in order to prevent disasters and personal injury. I'm Elle Roddinghaus. In this SIPS 360 feature of the day, I'll outline six tips of the most important things to check when inspecting a dolly system, which includes each dolly, axles, straps, and the breakover bar. As tip number one, inspect each dolly. First, look for evidence of physical damage like bending or cracking in any improper way. Regardless of whether you choose a zinc-plated or powder-coated finish, if you notice any cracking or flaking, this may indicate structural damage. Inspection tip number two is to check the pressure of every tire, making sure they're at the recommended PSI listed on the tire sidewall. Then check for any damage or unusual wear on the tires and inspect the tread depth as well. Examine the rims for any damage from potholes or other obstacles they may have encountered. Give it a spin and check for smooth and quiet hub rotation. Then look at the spindle bushings, pivot pins, and bearings by giving the wheels a wiggle side to side. If there is more play than usual, further inspection is required. Make sure to regularly grease the dollies depending on use. For tip number three, check to see if there's any deformation of plates and welds. Test and see that the cam locks, ratchet assembly, and trip assemblies, depending on brand, fully engage and all the hardware are threaded tightly. On movable components, check for proper freedom of movement, but if something is loose, you can lose blue Loctite to help secure it, if it's appropriate to do so. Now for inspection tip number four, let's take a look at the axles. Check the axle end caps, looking for any loose rivets or missing parts, and take a look at the dolly where the axle end caps will be placed as well. Make sure that the axle snap buttons have been fully engaged when you adjust it to the needed length per vehicle. Even if the dolly system is being stored on the mount, you don't want to pull out an axle tube when you do go to use it and have one end slide without warning, causing injury of any kind. For tip number five, look at the breakover bar. If the bar is deformed or warped in any way, then it must be replaced. You don't want to risk the bar snapping when you use it to load or unload the weight of a vehicle on the dolly. Finally, for tip number six, check the tie downs for frays, kinks, or defects of any kind. These are important because those tie downs fully secure the vehicle's tires to the dolly system. You can certainly perform an inspection in any order you prefer, just as long as the equipment and accessories are being examined before and after each use. If during your inspection you find any anomalies, the affected equipment or component should be removed from service until repaired. Doing so will help prevent your dollies from malfunctioning while using and demonstrate your level of concern for your career. This attentiveness will be recognized by the company you work for and your clients. If you need to replace any dollies or parts, you can find it in stock at zips.com.